This is Coffee with God. And let us begin this day with the word of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11, verses 27 to 28. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. While he was saying these things, some woman lifted her voice about the murmur of the crowd. Blessed the womb that carried you, and the breasts at which you nurse. Jesus commanded, Even more blessed are those who hear God's word and guide it with their lives. The Gospel of the Lord I am Father Joes and this is a short reflection on today's passage. Listen to him and do what he tells you. The term beatitude immediately brings to mind the eight blessings or the eight occasions in which one is blessed by God, as explained by Matthew in the Sermon on the Mount. Those who are poor, mourning, meek, hungering and thirsting for righteousness, those who are merciful, clean-hearted, peacemakers, and those who are persecuted and insulted for the sake of the kingdom are the blessed of the Beatitudes. There is, however, more to the list of the Beatitudes. Today's Gospel adds one more to the list of those who are blessed. Blessed are those who listen to the word of God and observes it. The blessedness of the Blessed Mother is first acknowledged in the Gospel even before the birth of Jesus. At the time of the Annunciation, we hear similar words from the mouth of the angel who says, Blessed are you among women. Moreover, as we pray the Hail Mary, we continue to acknowledge her blessedness in this month of the Rosary. According to Jesus, the true blessedness of his mother is a result of her faithfulness to God's word. She listened to and observed it. In the Gospels, Jesus emphasizes the importance of listening. He invited his disciples to be attentive to the word, to take it to heart, discover its beauty and truth, and live it. Today, he invites us to enter into that blessedness and relationship with him by listening to him and living by his word. In the story of the family of Martha and Mary, Mary stays at the feet of Jesus, listening to him. Jesus praised her attentiveness to the word and affirmed that Mary had chosen the best part and it would not be taken away from her. Sitting with him, wasting our time with him to listen to him is something the Lord values most. On another occasion in Matthew chapter 12, verse 50, we would listen to Jesus saying, Whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The message is clear. Listen to him. And Mary reminds us during the wedding at Cana, Do what he tells you. Listen to him and do what he tells you. 